Today I'm in the 6150R and I've got the K2 dung spreader on behind me. We also have the JCB loader here with us today and we have the 6150M with an NC dung spreader we got out in higher. We are currently emptying out a hen run and we're taking the dung out of the hen run and putting it out onto the field previous video that Gary uploaded was filmed a few months before this of him drawing the dung back to the yard so this shed here is one of the biggest hen runs and is usually empty just before we do start plowing and so on so we usually just take the dung straight out of the hen run into the dung spreader and spread it straight onto the land instead of having to bring it home and store it so there's four or five hen runs on this farm and they're emptied at different stages throughout the year as you can see they're quite small they're quite long narrow passage the whole way down to the end so you have to be very careful with the loader the place where the hens lay the eggs is all made out of light steel so if it got a nudge of the bucket or the loader it'd crumble fairly easily and you can see the doors and stuff where the loader's coming in and out is just wide enough for the loader to go in and out and it's only made out of wood so if any of that got a nudge of the loader it'd fall fairly easily so you just have to be very careful when you're working in the hen runs um, the K2 is doing a very good job of spreading the dung I'm very happy with it, it was one of the reasons that dad bought a K2 because it had good reviews or heard good things about the way it spreads all types of dung we're having a few problems with the NC spreader the dung is getting stuck in the floor of it and the floor is not moving we've tried a few different things and the only thing that's really working is just not fill it full which it's not a big problem but it is a problem you're only going out with half a load the reason we're using two dung spreaders is it just keeps the loader going it keeps the dung spreaders going that there's no one idle everything's going and working so there's no downtime and it just means that the job gets done quicker too. 